Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at this very special type of equation, the second order linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients. Again, the general form is ay double prime plus by prime plus cy equals zero. Notice it has a lot of similarity to the algebraic second order equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And remember that this is an equation of parabola which may or may not cross the x-axis. In other words, we may have something that looks like this where there's two roots to the equation. We may have something that looks like this where there's a single double root or we may have something like this where there's no roots. Basically, there is what we call an imaginary root. Actually, the way that works is like this is the, what we call the imaginary roots of the solution. Well, because this equation is very similar to this one, we can liken it to the characteristic equation. Instead of using x, we use r. So we have a r squared plus b r plus c, where a, b, and c are the coefficients of our differential equation. Now, if we solve this just like we solve a quadratic equation in algebra, we can then say that r is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And then when we solve for r, we'll have two values. We have minus b plus this and minus b minus this. And so we end up with two roots to that solution. And then the general solution of the differential equation using the characteristic equation is y equals constant 1 times e to the r1t plus another constant 2 e to the r2t. So r1 and r2 are simply the solution to the characteristic equation when we solve it just like a second order algebraic equation. Now, what we do have to realize is that this is just a general solution if R1 and R2 are actually two real roots because it's different if, for example, the quantity b squared minus 4ac, if that's equal to zero, then we end up with just a single root and if b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, we end up with imaginary roots and then the solution will look different. So if b squared minus 4ac is larger than zero, then we have the two real roots and then we have this as a solution. So in this case, we can write that y is equal to c1 e to the r1t plus c2 e to the r2t. So then we do indeed get this general solution, but that's only under the condition where b squared minus 4ac is larger than zero. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, then we get a different solution because now we only have one root. And so then when we write this, we get the following solution. We get y is equal to c1 e to the rt, because there's only going to be one root, plus c2 times t e to the rt. So the only difference is that instead of having the two separate roots, we only have one root, but for the second portion of the solution, we multiply this by t. And so this would then be the general solution of a second order linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients if this portion, b squared minus 4ac, is equal to zero. Now, in the case where b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, you end up with imaginary roots. You end up with a case where there's no real roots. And so the roots then will be in this form. The roots, r, will be equal to some constant plus or minus some other constant times i. So it'll be in this format. And that means that each of the roots here, r, will become a plus or minus bi. So you have the imaginary i in the exponent. What that means is we can separate it to the real part and the imaginary part. And of course, that will be like this. We can then say that y will be equal to c1 times e to the first root, which will be a times t, that's the real part of the root, times e to the plus or minus, in this case, plus bi times t. But if we then write that in its expanded form, we can then say that's equal to the cosine of bt plus the i times the sine of bt. So this would be the imaginary part of the root as e to the imaginary part times t, but it can be written out like this. 
and then we get plus C2 times E to the AT times the imaginary part would be the cosine of BT minus I times the sine of BT. And that would then be the solution of the second order homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients if the portion of b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. So there's three possible solutions. When this is greater than zero, this will be the general solution, just like we said before. But if there's only one root, when b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, then you write it like this. Remember, there's a t in there. And then finally, when it's less than zero, when you have an imaginary set of roots, then you'll write the general solution like that. And that's how we find the solutions to the second order linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients in a general way. Of course, we'll see some examples of that in the near future on future videos. And that's how it's done.